We all know that there is only one company in the world can manufacture the world's most cutting-edge lithography machines, and that is ASML in Netherlands. The Chinese company SMIC has waited for many years and failed to buy an EUV lithography machine. Faced with China's determination to self-develop, ASML replied directly, even if we send the EUV drawings to the Chinese, they will not be able to build a lithography machine. Why is ASML so confident? Then, how did them develop EUV successfully? Is China really out of touch with EUV? At the end of the video, you will also learn about China's lithography machine manufacturing technology was once the world's leading, but it was destroyed by people's words, and it is still struggling until now. What exactly destroyed China's semiconductor industry? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Let's get started. In the 1980s, ASML in the Netherlands was still a small company with only 30 employees. But it is such a group of people who have the dream of building a lithography machine, the jewel in the crown of the semiconductor industry. In the 1990s, a strange thing happened, a key parameter of the lithography machine was stumbled at 193 nanometers, and no manufacturer was able to break through this precision. Of course, at this time, whoever can break through the manufacturing precision of 193 nanometers will take the lead in the future market. But how to make a breakthrough? At that time, almost all the semiconductor industry in the world participated in it, but China fell into the fallacy of, better to buy than to build, and did not keep up with this wave of lithography machine development. At that time, Nikon wanted to steadily advance the level of craftsmanship step by step on the original basic road, and to explore little by little. The new lithography machine company represented by ASML is more radical, adopting the extremely risky extreme ultraviolet technology. This is also an operation of rubbing the electronic component model on the lithography silicon wafer, but it has never been used before. Extreme ultraviolet technology will use only a dozen nanometers of ultraviolet light to re-engrave the model on the manufacturing board, so as to realize the production of chips with an accuracy of less than 10 nanometers. In fact, these two production methods are very difficult. Surprisingly, however, an unknown geek emerged from the crowd. This person is Bern Zheng Lin, an engineer from TSMC. He proposed the legendary, immersive lithography, program. This scheme involves a very simple physical principle, which is refraction. But both American companies, as well as German and Japanese companies, scoffed at this plan. Just when Bern Zheng Lin was hopeless, the Dutch company ASML offered him an invitation, fully adopted his ideas, and rushed to produce the first prototype in 2004, becoming a leader in the lithography machine industry. However, this is just the beginning. The lithography machine industry is changing with each passing day, and its replacement speed is so fast that it cannot be surpassed without the accumulation of time. The reason why ASML in the Netherlands dared to say that even if we give Chinese people blueprints, and Chinese people can't make lithography machines is actually because of the accumulated value of its related technologies. Light source power, lens, mirror system, vacuum environment configuration, protective film, anti-corrosion agent ratio. This is the accumulation of decades in the lithography machine industry. But ASML is not the only company that has accumulated over the past few decades. The reason why ASML was able to develop so smoothly back then was the support of the US government. The United States provided ASML with a factory and a research and development center, and in return, ASML was not allowed to keep American technology secret, except for extremely core secrets. Moreover, ASML must guarantee the production capacity needs of the whole United States. In addition, 55% of the core components for the production of lithography machines must be purchased from American suppliers, and all production standards are jointly formulated by the Netherlands and the United States. In other words, even if China can really get the EUV lithography drawings, without raw materials, China still cannot do anything. As far as the production of high-power light sources, the core components of EUV lithography machines, is concerned. There is only one company in the world that can supply them, and that is CYM in the United States. In addition, no other manufacturer in the world has the ability to manufacture such sophisticated instruments. It can be seen that with only drawings, the hope of producing EUV is very slim. 
However, it is not difficult to manufacture ordinary level lithography machines, and China is on the way to catch up. In 2021, Shanghai Microelectronics announced that it can realize domestic lithography machines made of 28 nanometers. It's just a pity that this lithography machine failed to pass the acceptance test, and the current level of lithography machines in China is maintained at 90 nanometers. However, more and more news is coming out that China's 28 nanometers lithography machines and 14 nanometers lithography machines are also on the way. In fact, the Chinese are fully capable of developing domestically produced lithography machines. Because in the past, under the circumstances of the blockade, China has built a world-class lithography machine by itself. In the 1960s, Professor Xu Duani, who worked at Tsinghua University, joined the team of manufacturing lithography machines. At that time, lithography machines had been listed as cutting-edge products and were prohibited from being sold to China. Therefore, China does not have any foreign information about lithography machines at all, and Professor Xu can only lead the team to start from scratch. Under the extremely harsh external conditions, Xu's team successfully developed the first domestic lithography machine in Chinese history in 1971. In 1980, China's second-generation lithography machine was born, and the chip manufacturing process reached 0.8 microns. At that time, only the United States, the Netherlands and Japan could achieve such precision. In the 1990s, the development results of Chinese lithography machines were even more astonishing. Some American companies even came to China to discuss cooperation. In order to celebrate this hard-won achievement, China decided to put the most advanced domestic lithography machine on display at the exhibition, and invited journalists and experts from home and abroad to participate in the exhibition. However, it was this exhibition that completely stopped the development of lithography machines in China. Shortly after the end of the Chinese exhibition, Foreign countries suddenly announced the cancellation of the embargo on Chinese lithography machines, and sold lithography machines to China at very favorable prices. In order to further dispel the concerns of the Chinese people, these companies even launched a promotional activity of, buy a lithography machine, and the whole company can travel abroad for free. This was very attractive to business leaders who had hardly traveled abroad at the time. Soon, the lithography machine developed by Professor Xu suffered a catastrophe, and the saying, building is worse than buying, and buying is worse than renting, swept the country. Many China's companies have cancelled orders for domestic lithography machines. The cost of developing a lithography machine is very huge, and it will ultimately be market-oriented to make money. After losing a large number of orders, the domestic lithography machine came to an end, and all research work stopped. We all know the later story. The United States began to restrict China's import of lithography machines, only selling chips to China, not technology. Chinese semiconductor companies are in deep despair. It is no exaggeration to say that it is the industrial system of capitalist countries that has created ASML's current glory. The road to the development of China's domestic lithography machine is not just as simple as a technological breakthrough, and there is a long way to go. Well, thanks for your listening, and please be free to put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that are worth spreading every day. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.